So The Last of Us is getting a remake version, and I gotta tell you, Neil Druckmann once again surprises me like he always does with his games. And I gotta tell you, I am very excited to see The Last of Us coming back as a remake with better graphics, better environment, better AI system, and it's just, oh, it is so beautiful. Look at that Ellie sprinting and then just stabbing him. It is just so beautiful, you guys, and I am so excited to see this game come back to life because not only will we be able to play this game once again, but we're going to be able to see it as it was supposed to come out as as the actual better graphics better uh storytelling better surround system better like i said the ai as you guys can see there they've worked so hard for this remake version and i'm really excited to just go through all the emotional roller coasters that this game took me when i first played it and i believe that it's gonna give me the same vibes as if i barely just bought this game and i have no idea what's going on now they've added a lot of great features into this remake version like for example number one being the dlc included which i'm really excited for because i've only played the dlc a little bit but i didn't pay too much attention until i really got into it but man i gotta tell you something the environment just looks really great look at that blood spatter look at just the the details of all these bullets hitting all these objects around you i gotta say it is really amazing what they're doing now i know there's a lot of people saying that it's a waste of time because all you have to do is just play the old one and don't worry about this version but come on guys who wouldn't want to play this beautiful masterpiece in a remake i mean i would i would definitely buy this and i'm going to be streaming this on my twitch channel so be sure to follow my twitch because i am definitely going to be uploading well like I said, they've worked so hard on the environment and the AI. According to this guy, they're basically saying that Ellie will be able to know if an enemy is going towards her so she'll know if, if she has to move away. Like, oh, this guy's coming this way. I'm gonna go around the corner so he doesn't see me, he doesn't spot me. Now they added the additional mods and stuff. Like you have the photo mode, you have the permanent death mode, and they even added this great uh, speed run mode that Neil Druckmann just did perfectly on because there's a lot of people that love to do speed runs to see how fast to get through a game. I might try that out, but look at these customizations, skins on both characters and weapons. Look at these models. Like you get to interact with so much more. Like why not relive this? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just keep complaining that it's the same game, whatever. Nah, man, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this as if I'm going to be playing this game the very first time again. And I'm so happy to see it because it's been a while since I've played this game. And I can't wait to play as little Ellie, bro. You have no idea. Like that winter season, that winter chapter, she's running around and you can barely see anything. But, you know, you, you're still trying to like either kill or, or stealth your way out of there. Like It's just great to see. I mean, look at these. Look at the, I, I, mean, I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this clicker right here. Get shot down by Joel. I mean, the environment clearly looks way better. They have 3D audio as well, so you can actually hear better footsteps, better sounds that are surrounding you. Because I know for a fact that the PS4 version didn't have that. And keep in mind, this came out like what? Like 10 years ago, right? The Last of Us came out 10 years ago, and that was like in the PS3. But I mean, dude, just look at all this great stuff. They even added, like, you know, they, they took advantage of the DualSense controller with the adaptive triggers, bro. The more that you pull into the arrow, as this guy is explaining, the more you feel like the pressure of the arrow and when you release it. And that applies to every other weapon in this game, whether that's a shotgun uh, pump, pump shotgun, a handgun, a assault rifle, I mean, that is something that is so awesome that they took advantage of the dual sense because that's so great about the PS5. And this is what I'm really excited for, the workbench, bro. 
I am really excited for the workbench because you actually get the animation that Joel is grabbing his tools and working on his own weapons. And you get to see that stuff kind of like what they did in The Last of Us Part 2. That's something that I'm really excited for. Like all the melees, just reliving all these great things. And even like the flamethrower, because that's something that wasn't in The Last of Us Part 2. The flamethrower was one of my favorite weapons to use on these guys. And even added like the dual sense haptics. So when you're interacting with something in a cutscene, you get the little vibration as if you're there. That's something that I'm really excited and really like looking forward to. And I mean, if I haven't listed something that, you know, changes your mind to definitely buy this game. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, man. It's a masterpiece and seeing it better in 4K, man. It's going to be great. So make sure that you get it because it's coming out soon. September 2nd, 2022. Thank you guys for watching.